All right, Fran, we get it. You can juggle a tennis ball. Come on, we've got a show to do. OK. Fran, welcome to the show. Now, I heard it's your day off, so thank you so much for being here. No, that's all right. It's a nice thing to do, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. And also, I mean, it is very warm here. We're back in the south of France. Not bad, is it? No, it's nice. Obviously, we were here before and it was really nice and all the girls like to go out and see around Nice. So, yeah, yeah we're glad to be back here and glad to be in the sun again. Oh, it's lovely. Now, at two wins out of two, some people have said that we haven't scored a ton of goals yet, but surely, I mean, it's the winning that matters, right? Yeah, of course. You know, ultimately, we need to win games and that's the most important thing, whether it's 1-0, 2-1 or, you know, just scraping through in the last minute. Yeah. It's the wins that matter and ultimately, you know, we want to play well and we want to give good performances. But right now, the only thing that matters is the end result and we're getting that. So Yeah, exactly. And how have you found the World Cup so far? I mean, you haven't scored a goal yet, but you technically had two assists in the Scotland game and you're involved in that goal against Argentina. So you must be happy with your performances so far, right? Yeah, I mean, against Scotland, you know, I think first half I was I was quite comfortable. Second half, I think, you know, the, the standard did drop quite a little uh, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I felt really good in the last game and I really enjoyed it. And, you know, I'm still learning about this new role that I've got at England. You know, I'm used to playing a bit higher up and a bit more, you know, involved in the action in the, in, in the box. But, you know, I'm enjoying it and hopefully, you know, I can keep improving and keep building momentum in the World Cup and keep putting in good performances. Yeah, and give us the download, dish the dirt. What is the mood like in camp? Who's keeping everyone's spirit? It's up. The mood is really good, yeah. actually. You know, obviously we've been together now for a long time, so you know that's when people start to get a bit tired, a bit, you know, aggy. But there's absolutely none of that um, in camp at the moment. You know, Jill Scott is always the one that yeah. gets everyone going, gets the laughter going. Um, Rachel Daly and Millie Bright are another two classic you know, duo. Yeah, they keep, you know, their funny voices and everything like that. So I think actually everyone's in really good spirits and everyone's enjoying the ride so far, and especially the girls who are coming in, making their debut in the World Cup. You know, it's so special for them, and I think everyone's just having the best time. Who's your roommate? Alex Greenwood. Oh, you're quite, you're quite different characters. How, how does that work? Um, well, we've been roommates now since I think we both kind of came into the squad. So oh, wow. we've been we've been together now on a few journeys over the last kind of four four years. Um, but we just know each other's routines. I know Alex okay. likes to go out for coffee and you know likes to socialise, whereas I'm more of a stay in bed, watch Netflix kind of girl and just okay. chill out and um, yeah. But yeah, we've got a really good relationship, and I think that helps on the pitch as well. You know, we can be honest with each other. If we disagree with what one thing person said or one thing's done, then we can just quickly put it to bed and we'll go into the hotel room afterwards and put the music on you know have a good time yeah, so yeah. it's a really nice relationship and now this is your second world cup there are some younger players here now do you feel like one of the older more experienced players i wouldn't say older <laughs> i'm still a bit mature yeah. sometimes um but yeah i mean it's it's actually amazing to see them kind of going through the same journey that I went through um, when I first went to the World Cup and it's nice to see them all enjoying it and getting their opportunities to get out on that pitch. There's nothing more special than playing in a World yeah. Cup and being part of this team. So, you know, it's amazing to see how much they're enjoying it. They're always walking around with a smile on their yeah, face and, you know, that's what you want to see them do and you want to see them having fun. And you kind of announced yourself at that World Cup in Canada, didn't you? Yeah, it was... It was a bit of an amazing experience for me, really. You know, I never thought that I would get picked at that time to go to a World Cup, never mind being able to start and score a goal. So it was, it was a really special memory for me. And hopefully, you know, we can do one better this year and go, go all the way. Now, speaking of our youngsters, here's Megan Finnegan from our under 23s showing us how to, just like Fran, hit the back of the net. Hi, I'm Meg Finnegan, and this is How To. Striking the ball with your laces in three steps. Step one, take a touch to make sure the ball's out of your feet. Step two, plant your weaker foot at the side of the ball and make sure your head is over the ball to keep the ball down. Step three, strike through the ball with your laces to make sure that again, the keeper's got no chance. Striking the ball with laces, completed it. Right, talking of hitting the back of the net, Fran, what has been your all-time favourite England goal that you've scored? I'm going to go with two, um, okay. that are very, very special to me. Yeah. I'm going to go my debut against Sweden. Um, obviously, it was amazing to score on my debut and be able to play. 
Four nil um, that game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, my dad, my dad managed to come up and watch it, oh, so that was even more special. And he didn't tell me it was coming actually, so oh, it's a, it's a surprise. bit of surprise. Yeah. Um, and then in the World Cup, of course, you know, scoring that goal against Mexico, which my dad was in the audience again to watch. So it's always more special when my dad's there watching. So I definitely say that, that them too, yeah. And that hit the post and then went in. Were you like, oh? Yeah, I think you could kind of see I'm running off celebrating. And then I actually realised it's hit the post. So then I'm like, oh no, what if it doesn't go in? I'm going to look a bit silly yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but luckily it went in and then, you know, I just kind of went on a bit of a mad one. Didn't really know how to celebrate. I feel like you have to fully commit to the celebration at that point as well, don't you? When you yeah. think it's going in. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then, you know, the more you celebrate, the less silly you look. So, yeah. you know, I just went all out. I just, you know, all of it. So yeah. Have you thought about how you'll celebrate if you score out here? Probably going to be the same reaction, if I'm honest. I never really have anything planned Plan, in my head. No, I just kind of run around like a kid <laughs> a little bit, you know, like I've just scored in the park against yeah, my friends. Yeah. Just run, 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 run. Yeah. Awesome. Right. We have some questions from Twitter. So we've got a few here. So Nanook says, do you miss your awesome puppy dog when you're away? Cody, right? Uh, do you not want to make him the England mascot? I wanted to ask you about him because you're quite obsessed, I'm like in love with my dog. <laughs> yeah. Like there's no one ever who will compare really? to my dog. Yeah. That dog has helped me get through some of the hardest times in my football oh. career. So I would love to bring him out here and bring him, um, take him, you know, everywhere with me when I go travelling. But obviously that's not that's not going to happen. But he actually has the little um, sweatbands, the England sweatbands that he wears during the game. Oh. So he's like a number one fan. You're breaking my heart. All right, Emma says, what's your favourite thing to do on a day off? How do you wind down and relax and have time to yourself? And good luck for the rest of the tournament. Lioness Daily, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I'm quite chilled. Like, I like to go out for a little walk maybe or just, yeah. you know, watch some films, catch up with some friends. Because um, it's quite intentional when you're yeah. in camp and you're training and everything like that. So I'm quite chilled. Like, I'm not one really that you know, likes to do everything on their day off. Yeah, I'm more yeah, just yeah. chill and that's kind of me as a person, quite laid back, yeah. quite chilled. So Relax. don't really like to do much. So Astro Hannah says, who's the best player in your opinion that you have ever played against? Ooh, good yeah, question. Tough one. I remember when I, I played against America um, at Milton Keynes and at the time it was Lauren Holiday who was playing for America. And I remember for a good 90 minutes I just chased her around yeah, the pitch yeah. yeah she was she was really really good um and I think I admired her a lot after playing against her obviously back then you know I was quite new to to the, like yeah. the international stage so I wasn't really much aware of that um but yeah I, I definitely say she is up there and obviously you know I've played against the likes of Marijan who is absolutely incredible and yeah. she's an amazing footballer so probably out of them too. A few to pick from. Uh, Nicola Humphreys, this is lovely, says, no question, just to reinforce the thousands of other people saying that we're lucky and proud to have someone with your talent playing for us. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's nice to hear a different side sometimes, so yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey we love you, Fran. And uh, Chloe says, if you had to create a five-a-side team with you as one of the players, out of the people playing at this World Cup, who would you choose to join you? Ooh, oh, that's that a is a good one. one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, five aside, I'm going to go with Carly Telford in goal. Cool. Because awesome. of her feet. Um, she has really, really good feet. So she'll probably end up just, you know, dribbling or shooting. Yeah, away. yeah. Lucy Bronze. Yeah. Um, in the England team, obviously, I think she's an amazing yeah. player. You. Oh, yeah, me. Two so that's more. three. So two more. Got to get two more. Vivian Miedema. Oh, um, yes. Who plays for the Netherlands? I think she's been scoring goals for fun, so she definitely. Scores most goals, right? Yeah, yeah. She's an absolutely incredible, incredible player, and she scores goals for absolute fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one more. I'm gonna go for another forward because you know you only win games. You, you score wanna, goals. You want to get those goals. Um, <laughs> Well, I would oh. say Marijan, but she's picked up an injury. But yeah, I'm still going to okay. go with Marijan. Okay, okay. Marijan's going to okay, be in we'll there. allow that. Yeah. I want to ask you some questions now. Okay. So we can play word association. Okay. So you have to say the first word oh, that no. comes to mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm very not very quick, rapid you know. Fire. I'm, I'm quite like slow. Well, so <laughs> this is going to be a bit of pressure then. Okay, you ready? Okay. England. Winners. The World Cup. England. Phil Neville. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thierry Henry. Best. Oh. Canada 2015. Whirlwind. Music. Everything. Fran Kirby. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say legend. A uh, holiday destination. Caribbean. Nice. Food. Nando's. Best friend. Harriet Scott. Ah, you did well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well done. it's okay. Take yeah. a bow. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I did hear, uh, rumour has it, that you are quite adventurous with your food. 
<laughs> that's, that true? It's an absolute lie. <laughs> what do you What do you eat? No, I, I'm not really into much like sauce stuff or like spice or anything like that. So I'm more just kind of you know plain, dry. not dry, but like, I like a little bit, but not like you know. I wouldn't like venture out too much. So um, hold on, what's your Nando's order? What do you? What well, I'll go for like lemon herb. So it's got a little bit on it, and it's not like crazy. Right. I once <laughs> ordered a medium, and honestly, I swear to God, I was just stuck to the drink Stop machine. Stop it! I swear to God, yeah. I'm bad with spiciness, but medium is like. No, quite, no, quite I was standard. literally next to the spice machine uh, to the drinks machine the whole time. Well, so. we found out that uh, Fran loves chicken. <laughs> there are five <laughs> things you didn't know about Mary Earps. In judo, I am not messing with you, Mary Epps. Did you ever do it? I did used to do judo, yeah, when I was younger. It must have been something that you do when you were growing up. Yeah. yeah. How good were you? I was, I was all right, you know, but I had to ch pick between football and judo, so, you know, oh. football was always going to be the winner. Well, you made the right decision. <laughs> now, throughout the World Cup here on Lionesses Daily, we're giving you the chance to win amazing prizes thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. So next up is a chance to win a pair of Fran's boots. Your actual boots? Can, yes, you, can you get them for us? One, yeah. Now I heard that you might sign them for us. I, I will, I will, yeah. It's even got my number oh, and awesome. badge on it, so that's pretty cool. Yes. How cool is that? There you go, if you do us the honour. Both of them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Mm. If you if you're gonna do it for us, Fran, we won't say no. Amazing. What size are they? Um should probably know this, shouldn't I? <laughs> you don't know what size you are. Five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah. Oh, I can almost fit into mm -hmm. them. Am I allowed to enter? <laughs> is that, is, there's a lot of silence on the show. I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> All you've got to do is go to the link on the screen and answer a very simple question. We'll announce a winner ahead of the game against Japan. Oh. Now, uh, Fran, would you do us the honour? We yeah. have our FIFA Women's World Cup France 2019 official sticker collection by Panini. Would oh. you sign your sticker for us? Please? You know, my auntie's got one of these the other day, right? Yeah. And you know, they sent me a really exciting message like, oh my God, guess who we got? I was like, me, obviously. Yeah. And they were like, oh no, we've got Maria who plays for Norway, who plays at Chelsea with you. I was like, okay, okay cool, thank yes, you. thanks. <laughs> like, thanks for the support. Yeah, they were like, we haven't got you yet. I was like, okay. <laughs> so this is a special book, thank you, because okay. it has all 23 of oh. our players in it. So keep watching the show to find out how you could win it. Right, she was our hero on Friday night. Let's hear from Golden Girl Jodie Taylor on what it means to be a lioness. I'm Jodie Taylor and I'm a lioness. To be a lioness means a lot to me. Um, it took me a long time to get my first cap for England. So to be here now is a huge honour and a privilege and every time I get selected and called up and picked, it really does mean a lot to me. It's something that I really do not take for granted. Um, I think I've relied on my family a lot for support. Um, you know, from a young age, my mum and dad, especially my dad, was super supportive and would take me to every training and every games and especially as I got more competitive and it, it became most nights, you know, they, they sacrificed a lot to allow me to go to every single training and game and not miss any time and you know, my dad has been my number one fan and also my biggest critic and I, I really believe that has helped me become the player that I am today. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to my family for their support throughout the years um, because if it wasn't for you it, I wouldn't be sitting here right now and I wouldn't be heading into a World Cup. You know what, why don't you guys send us your videos on why you'd love to be a lioness and use the hashtag lionesses daily and we'll put some of them in the show, won't we? Yeah. I think you get some good ones. Thanks, I think so too. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show, Fran. It's been a pleasure. What thank has you. been the highlight of this World Cup for you so far? 
Um, highlight so far would probably be, I think it has to be the first game. Get up and up and running, get your first three points. Mm. Um, build yourself momentum going into the rest of the game. So yeah, I think the first game so far. So not this show then? <laughs> Oh, that will uh, be on my next one. Wow, you know, because it'll be completed. Then. Okay, no, it's it's fine. I think I hear Phil calling you. You you can go now. Uh, we'll see you guys back here at the same time tomorrow.